Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Uh, we're going to be ranting this entire episode. We're just going to stay right here, and I'm going to be ranting for the entire 30 minutes about various things. So let's get started. Airline food. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, welcome back, guys. In the last episode, we uh, completed Agronac, Grow, whatever his face. What's your name? Agronac, Grow Malog's quest. Uh, we found out that he is the son of a vampire, and he's not too happy to hear that news. The journal. As you guys can see. Ah, uh, my whole life has been nothing but a lie. Yeah. But you, you're a grand champion, man. Get over the fact that you're a vampire. It's not that bad. Shut, no, just kidding. It is that bad. I hate it. Please take it away from me. I hate it. Kill me. Please kill me. Kill me. End it now. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going to go ahead and continue right along with the arena quest line. Which, again, is not too much of a quest line. You just kill people over and over again. Oh, and I, re I just realized, before we do that, though... Uh, we should go repair Sufferthorn, because it has suffered. And it needs to be repaired. It's, uh, it's broken, and we cannot repair it. Although, what we should be doing, actually, now that I think about it, is using our armorer's hammers, uh, to increase our armorer's skill, so that maybe, eventually, we can actually use, um... We can't actually repair. See, we can't repair anything that's enchanted right now because our armor skill is too low. So we should be using this to repair stuff ourselves. So there we go. Our armor skill has increased. And that is all that we can repair thus far. Uh, what time is it? It is 7.36 a.m. Let's wait three hours. We couldn't have even started an arena match if we wanted to. So look at that. Oh, God. Come on! I didn't dream... Ugh. In your dream, you open your eyes to a beautiful blue sky. The sun is bright, but you feel cool, even a bit damp. You draw a breath, but begin to cough as you expel blood and dirt that you've inhaled into your lungs. As you try to draw another, you see a shovel of dirt being emptied onto your face. I don't know why I paused there. The sunlight grows fainter as you view it through the soil that covers your body. You would scream, but your mouth fills with dirt before you can make a sound. I wonder how many of these horrible dream sequences there are. And obviously, we're going to still take damage from the sun, because even though it's raining... Although, it does look like we're taking less damage, which is nice, for once. And we're going to head to the fighting chance, and we're going to sell a bunch of stuff, and we are going to what are repair a bunch of stuff. So, let's if do that broken. first and foremost. 39 gold, man. Repairing stuff is so cheap! If only recharging its magical properties were. Have a look around. You won't find better prices. Now, we're going to keep this here because we're a vampire, so they're going to hate us. Uh, we're going to keep the glass dagger. Long sword of pain, though. Goodbye. That's a good deal. Let us see. Dwarven cuirass. Gauntlets. Boots. A good price for a good customer. Okay, and that might be just about it. Yep. Come back. And see me again. Oh, now you want me to come back and see you again when you just said, what do Good you day. want? Make up your mind, Roseanne. I don't think it's going to allow us to travel, which is super unfortunate. Yep. So, we'll just head to the arena because it's one of uh, these areas. You know what? I don't actually know like where the doors lead to because I always just fast travel. Um, a lot of people have always suggested, oh, Vana, do a no fast travel run. And I've talked about this before. I'm not the type of person that would enjoy something like that. Maybe one time. Maybe I could get into it one time and one time only if I was heavily role-playing uh, a character. And, you know, I, uh, my girlfriend did this too. Yeah, she, like, she would stop and eat and sleep at inns. Which is weird because she never, um, she never, like, role-plays too in-depth, I don't think. We, we have a joke, like, when I play Fallout 4... Uh, my character has to look super cool and nice, but when she play like, and, and he wears the Minuteman suit, and, like, he's got the Patrolman glasses, and he just looks cool as heck. But when Stop she plays him, she's got, like, the, the gross, like, security bot helmet and just mismatched armor. So, it's always surprising to me that she has done that playthrough where she doesn't uh, fast travel. But I would do something like that where I would have to sleep at inns and I would have to eat, but uh, I'd only do that one time. What are you waiting for? You signed up for this, maggot. Now get up to that arena and fight. Right, I forgot I already signed up for a fight. Oh, watch this. I know you're ready. I already approved your match, you idiot. Now get up to that arena and spill some blood. I, I always like how angry Owen is. I, I, I like Owen. I usually don't like characters that are mean to me. Um, probably because I was bullied as a kid in high school. Not not too bad, though. I was, I was an 
as bullied as like most people are, but I was very fat, so that's where pretty much all the uh, bullying came from. Was hey fat boy, hey fatty fatty McFat fat. They didn't actually say things like that. That would be pretty silly, but along those lines. Anyway, so yeah, I don't think I'm usually uh, attracted to NPCs that are angry at me and, and mean to me, but I like Owen for some reason. Okay, so this is the guy with Shimmer Strike, but I should have the better dagger. Uh, yeah. We have a winner. All hail the combatant from the blue team. Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You earn it. Okay, now I always thought this was really sad how you can't actually pick up Shimmer Strike. Because there it is. It's a unique weapon right there. But can't get it. And before everybody comments, yes, I know you can most likely get that through the console, but we are not about that on this channel. We're not about cheating, exploits, glitches, console using. Although I have been watching a lot of speedruns, I've been watching a lot. Um, and they're so interesting how, how they, like, abuse the game. I guess you told that wood elf what you thought of his magic dagger, huh? <laughs> Here's your gold. Nice going. And also, like, Owen's lines are just ridiculous, too. <laughs> Like, that almost sounded like a complete different NPC than, than who we know as Owen. You're hungry, Myrmidon. I can see it in your eyes. You ready to feed that hunger, huh? You ready for another match? I am, uh, Owen. I almost called you Owadon for some reason. Yes. No surprises with this next one. Just a high elf with a chip on her shoulder. Get up to that arena and make her beg for death. And he's so ruthless, too. Like, these guys shouldn't say anything new yet, right? My, my, my. Look at the Myrmidon. Yep. I'm gonna kill you one day. Just wait. It's gonna happen. I promise. I'm gonna kill you. One day. Alright, next fight. Good people of the Imperial City. Welcome to the arena. You came here for a fight, and a fight you shall have. But talk is for the weak. You want blood. Lower the gates! This is such a disadvantage, man, being a vampire and literally burning in the sun. My god. Okay. One more time. God, man. Suffolkthorn is just too powerful. I kind of want to even, like, raise the difficulty, but as soon as we get out of the arena, it's, it's going to go right back to being mega hard. Now, rest. Jeez, but Sufferthorn just... It's crazy, man. If you don't have an enchantment, it's just like... It's like you're literally attacking people with a butter knife. But if we have an enchantment like Sufferthorn, it just kills them in like two to five hits. Ultima. They act all high and mighty until you leave them in a pool of their own blood. Here's your gold. Go take a breather. No need, buddy. You're cutting through the yellow team like a knife through scrib jelly. One more fighting, you'll advance to warrior rank. Let's do it. The next opponent is your standard axe-armed orc. He's in a heavy raiment and looks pretty fit. Nothing you can't handle. And looks pretty fit. Yeah, I would say anybody in the arena at this level is probably pretty fit. Owen. Okay, so we've got one more fight before we advance to warrior. I was thinking it would be really cool to, like... Be the person in charge of laying out who you fight. I think they did a pretty good job in terms of variance. Everyone loves an advancement match, so let's watch as these two brave Myrmidons face off in the battle to the death. Combatants to arms. Let's do it. Okay, this guy is wielding a two-handed axe. This guy takes a bit more. Too easy, man. Just too easy. Not as easy as my last Oblivion Let's Play, though. We were, like, on mega easy difficulty. So at least this is a little bit harder. There are a few things scarier than an orc with an axe. But you didn't even flinch. That victory brings you up to warrior rank. Well done. Hell yeah. You're a warrior now. That ain't no joke. They may not know your name, but the people out there, the spectators... They know you now. 
They come to this arena to see you. So go out there and give the people what they want. And I'll do my best, Owen, as always. I've seen the next one fight before. She's a Nord, very quick, very strong. She favors a longsword and knows how to use it. Don't underestimate her. Yeah, but I have, but I have, uh, Sufferthorn, you know, so, I don't know. Warrior? You? <laughs> just, just look at you. <laughs> You're not even laughing. Your face isn't even moving. Warrior. That was such a long voice line, my god. Okay, where's the nice guy? I could use a pick-me-up. Well, I've been watching you fight, my friend. It's a good thing we're both on the blue team. Cause I sure as blazes wouldn't want to go up against you. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I'm sure you're good too. No, I'm playing Darvesh. Yes, I know I'm good. Farewell, this my is my Darvesh voice. It's getting probably worse and worse as time goes on. It sounds a little bit like a Khajiit, but not really. God dang it! I really want to sound like a Khajiit, but I can't do it. Good people of the Imperial City. Let's do third person for this fight. To the arena. You guys can see how awful it is. Raise your voices in cheer as we lower the gates and these two brave combatants face their destinies. Let's do it! Can't see anything because I'm a vampire and everything is Victory crazy bright. Hit me! Ooh. Ooh. This lady is a lot of damage. You left that Nord in pretty rough shape, warrior. They'll probably have to ship her back to Skyrim in pieces. Nice work. Here's your take. Shout out to everybody that was like, ah, they just mentioned Skyrim in, a, in the previous game. Yeah, all the provinces have, have existed, I believe, since the first game. I don't think they... Even the map is the same. Look at you. You keep coming back for more. All right, warrior. You ready for a match? Let's do it. Ah, spellcasters. That's what this next one is. A high elf sorceress or something. Just get in close and stab her a few times. That'll teach her. Yeah, it seems to work for everybody else. Honestly, if it's a high elf sorceress, that sounds like the easiest person we fought yet. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, there's not too much strategy here. Unless you're on a higher difficulty, then you, you really need to be careful. But just blocking the first hit and then slashing away. Sufferthorn does so much damage and it swings so fast that they just, you know, it's it's almost game breaking a little. more than to please you. And if they fill their opponents with suffering and pain at the same time, all the better. Okay, so I'm not sure what types of Oh, okay, spellcaster Owen. Oh, yeah. Like I said, spellcaster, that just means that she's going to be easier than the rest. Um, you know what I was thinking? It would be actually cool if Owen thought it was somebody else, like a different type of style of fighting. And he was like, oh, God, I'm so sorry. That was the next fight that was coming up. That would be cool because then you, like, prepare for somebody. And it's like, that's the challenge. I would have liked that. Another high elf has been taught the meaning of humility thanks to the blue team's number one warrior. You really earned your keep this time. Okay, now this should be the advancement match again. One more match is all you need to advance again, up to gladiator rank. Most combatants never make it that far. But you're the exception, aren't you? Yeah, you could say that. Let's do it. Your next opponent is the most savage, blood-crazed orc I've ever seen. And believe me, I've seen a lot of them. This will not be fun. She'll come out of that gate with a warhammer the size of a child. And she'll swing it until your head explodes. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen. You're saying I shouldn't, huh? Okay. I was going to say, there's a lot of orcs in the arena, but um, it does make sense. Although, I was just thinking, I mean, we've already had two orcs in this rank alone, right? Wasn't the first guy we fought an orc? Why, why not just make one of them a red guard? Red guard and orcs. 
uh, Red Guards and Orcs are known to be the warriors in the Elder Scrolls, along with Nords, but Red Guards and Orcs, I think, uh, a little bit more. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's the, that's Nords' whole thing, right? To Two big, strong this warriors. This is an important match, or the winner will advance to the esteemed rank of Gladiator. So, without further ado, let the battle begin! Okay, she's got a big war hammer. She could kill me, and I haven't saved, I just realized. No more charge. Oh, God. And here we go. Now come the strats. Uh, let's switch over. Oh, man. I'm too slow. Night Eye is just hindering me, not helping in any way, shape, or form. Missed that one. How did I miss that one? Okay. Here we go. Come on, man. Okay, why am I... Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. I was looking at my health, and I was like, why is it draining? I'm not even getting hit. I forgot about the sun damage. Oh, jeez. No, no. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at my health. That's like one... <laughs> it's like one health. It's probably less than ten, right? Actually, can we see? It's literally at one HP. Yes, I'm so glad that it landed there. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I love when that happens. All right. Um, well, unfortunately for this orc, we've got this. Oh, man, but that's all we have, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Um, okay, let's use a potion of sorcery and respite. Um, okay. This is going to be actually hard to, to stabilize. Oh, God, she trapped me. Okay, we got out. We're just too agile. Woo! Winner! All hail the combatant from the blue team. Where'd that Warhammer go? Victor from the blue team. Oh, man. Okay, that was very difficult. I'm going to try to not uh, recharge Sufferthorn. I'm going to try to beat the rest of this without doing that. You hit that orc so hard, her mother in Orsinium started bleeding. That victory advances you to the rank of gladiator. Enjoy the gold. Actually, I don't think that's going to be viable because I thought there was only one match in, in the gladiator. Um rank but i think i am mistaken gladiator it's not very often i get to call somebody that you're doing the blue team proud kid now go kill somebody before i get all weepy listen up this next match is an outrage but there's nothing i can do about it you've got three opponents this time and you have to beat them all there are gonian prisoners brought here from black marsh they've been told they have to kill you in exchange for their freedom I don't know what crimes they committed, but it's your life or their freedom. The choice should be pretty clear. Get going and watch yourself. Okay, so this is one of the more interesting matches, obviously. We have three Argonians to take on. Uh, we're going to switch to, actually, yeah, we're going to try to not um, use our uh, Varla Stones just yet. We're going to switch over to the Glass Dagger and hope that that does the trick. Now, let's save the game on save... I guess we'll just start going like all the way down to wherever this one is. Oh, we need to return to Battlehorn too at some point for some reason. Okay, let's try this out. Hopefully our dagger will carry us through this. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. It looks like the yellow team has pulled a fast one by replacing their combatant with three Argonian prisoners. This should be interesting. To say the least. Okay. One's probably going to have a... No, they're just going to run at me. All right. Oh, man. They're not taking any damage. Jesus. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to do this without Sufferthorn. I don't have... Uh, I don't have any, like... Okay, 
what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use some weak potions of sort. What happened to all my healing potions? I can't believe I don't have any. Okay, we're going to have to use one of those, and we're going to switch over to... Let's see. What do these arrows do? Five points, five points. Demoralize. It doesn't matter. Let's go for Arrow of Frost since there's more, and we'll go for Shadow Hunt, and we will, first of all, heal ourselves twice. Okay, now. What the hell was that? Oh my god! Uh, it automatically fired. It's like a. It's like a time. trial. Oh, they keep healing! Oh my god. This is so unfair. <laughs> okay, um. We could try that again with our bow this time. Yeah, let's use the Arrow of Frost and then Shadow Hunt. Uh, obviously, if I just used a Farla Stone, I mean, we would win easily, but... Yeah, man, being uh, a vampire sucks ass. Oh, God. Of the Imperial City. Welcome to the yeah, let's go, come on. It looks like the yellow team has pulled a fast one by replacing their combatant with three Arconian prisoners. This should be interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's a battle against time more than anything. Oh, man. Right into the fire. And I have a weakness against fire. That was not good. And they keep healing, too. That's the other thing. Okay. Uh, let's switch over to Arrow of Jolts. And now I need to heal a little bit. Okay. It's hard to know who to go for either because they just keep healing. One down. Uh, now we're out of arrows again. Let's go for misery. That might be good because it'll... Actually... Oh no, that has a high attack too. Okay. Stop healing, you losers, as I heal. <laughs> yeah, I realize the irony. Die, my god! There we go. Okay, if we have potions of sorcery, we're good. I forget if I use them all, though. Okay, we're good, I think. Let's run away a little bit. Okay, let's equip some more arrows. Boom. And... And... Let's not jump into the fire again. But you guys thought I was going to die there, huh? Nope. From the blue team, leave the arena now and fast. You yeah, I'd say I'd earned it. Jesus, that was difficult. The yellow team surprised even me with that match. Three against one. I guess they didn't know who they were dealing with, huh? Well done. They did not know who they were de dealing with. They were dealing with the guy that jumped into the fire as a vampire. You ain't going to stop until you hit champion, are you? Well, good. The blue team needs as much glory as we can get. After that last match, this one should feel like a vacation. One Khajiit in a heavy raiment, probably with a sword. Nothing you can't handle. Cat on cat, eh? Let's see. Should we try to go for him just with the glass dagger? Yeah. Yeah, that fight, I think, is actually one of the hardest. I thought it would be easy because I just thought they wouldn't have weapons or something. But no, clearly... It was difficult. Uh, let's save the game again. We'll save it here. Man, these saves are all over the place now. Don't know what type of weapon this Khajiit's going to be using. Good people of the Imperial City. Welcome to the arena. You almost have to feel bad for the yellow team's Khajiit. For the blue team's gladiator is a combatant you know and love. Let's see. All right, looks like he's got just a sword. Okay, this cat's a little tough. Man, 
Man, I thought they were done with the healing. I thought at some point. You showed that cat whose claws are sharper, eh? I would expect no less. Here's your gold. Now go wash up. You look off. I wonder if he says that line if we're not a Khajiit. I feel like he does, but I don't know. Whose claws are sharper. What's a gladiator without an arena to fight in? So get up there and start cracking some skulls. Besides, one more fight and you'll advance again. The next one's a Breton. He looks like a bit of a dandy, but he's <laughs> deadly with a blade. He has more experience than you, so be prepared. <laughs> what is that line? The whole line. Oh, my God. Does he? Okay. Does he repeat hey, that? Something. The match is all set, my friend. Now get up to that arena and teach those yellow team maggots some manners. Aw, oh, now he likes me. Okay. He looks like a bit of get a dandy. But... Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to go. Oh, wait. What am I doing? No, we can uh, head back here. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and need to use... I think we're going to go ahead... I think we're going to need to go ahead and use... There we go. A Varla Stone. Um, so let's re-equip Sufferthorn. And go all the way down. It, it really pains me to use these because they are so excellent to use. But Sufferthorn is at max again. Let's save the game. We have just about enough time for one, maybe two more matches. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. You've prayed for it, and these combatants have bled for it. A high-stakes advancement match. Let's see who has what it takes to be your new hero. Okay. Ooh, this guy takes a lot of a lot of damage. Ooh, your blade skill is increased. The cuts and nicks from long practice sessions with all manner of blades has its benefits. You are now a journeyman with blade weapons. Your sidestep power attack now has a chance to disarm your opponent. Press and hold attack while moving left or right to use this power attack. Okay, we'll try to do that, but it's harder with a keyboard. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to power attack you. Yeah, it's very hard to do. I am doing it here. Oh, God. It's going to be close. Victor from the blue team. Leave the arena now and rest. You... By defeating that Breton, you've secured your advancement. It's been a long time since I've said this, but congratulations, hero. Thank you. You're about to face off against the best the yellow team has to offer. Azura knows you're the best the blue team's got. The first yellow team hero you'll face is an Imperial in heavy raiment. He fights with an Akaviri longsword. Thing is, this guy used to be a blade. You know those guys who protect the Emperor? He's a trained swordsman, so keep your damn head down. Yeah, I've seen the blades in action. They couldn't even save the Empire, or the Emperor. I think I'm okay. So it's Hero now, is it? I suppose the little urchin wants to be a champion. Bah. You will never join our ranks. We are gods among mortals. Yeah, but I keep rising fast, don't you know see? Know this. If you truly wish to become a champion, you'll have to go through me. If we meet in that arena... I'll make you beg for death. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm gonna slit your throat. Anyways. I saw your match against the Breton. You're a hero now. I, I'm still in training, but I'll get there too. Anyway, congratulations. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, you will. Nope, nope, nope. Darvesh. Darvesh. Okay, ladies Farewell. and gentlemen. Well, we've got only a few matches left. Uh, we've got uh, hero which is where we're at now. Each rank has three fights, obviously. Then we've got champion, then we've got grand champion, and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will finish the arena in the next episode if everything goes to plan. Thanks for watching again. I will see you there. Bye-bye.